Hi everyone, Yasas Kekalos Irtate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making Kerasaki Glikokutalyu, which is basically a it translates to cherry spoon sweet. It, basically, it's a cherry preserve that we're going to be making, Greek style. It's very traditional to have this on hand. Uh, every Nikokira, which is lady of the house, has this. And when guests come over, you, we put it in a little, very little small saucer, kind of like uh, the one that goes under a teacup. And we serve it with a nice fancy spoon, with a nice hot cup of coffee and a glass of cold water. And it's just a way to honor your guests. They are delicious. And cherries are in season right now. And these are so easy to make. They're going to last months in the refrigerator. And if if you like to can things, you can definitely preserve these much, much longer. Let's get started. So we're going to start with two pounds of fresh cherries. You're going to want to make sure that you rinse them several times to get them nice and clean. Put on a pair of gloves because cherries do stain your fingers, your nails, and everything else. Wear some dark clothing and an apron because you're going to get cherry splatter all over once you're done with this. Remove the stems and then using a cherry pitter, go ahead and carefully take out the pits of the cherries, trying not to damage them and just keep them intact as, as much as you can. If a cherry pit gets stuck in there, just carefully take it out. You don't want to bite into one of those later on in your dessert. And go ahead and remove the pits in a large bowl because we're going to use the pits uh, for the flavoring later on. And you can transfer the cherries, the pitted cherries, put them in a bit in the saucepan that you're going to be cooking them down in. Once you're done pitting the cherries, go ahead and add a cup of water to the cherry pits and just swish them around and let it sit in there until you prepare um, the rest of the ingredients. So in the pot, go ahead and add four cups of granulated sugar. That's about two pounds, almost two pounds, an ounce, short, an ounce shy of two pounds. It's usually an equal amount of cherries and an equal amount of sugar in weight. Then we're going to add the juice of a lemon and then go ahead and strain that water that the cherry pits uh, were sitting in and put that into the cherries as well. And we do that because adding straight water would kind of take away the flavor a little bit. We want to get the maximum amount of cherry flavor in this as we possibly can. Toss also all the cherries and the sugar and the lemon juice and the water so everything is nice and coated and even. And um, traditionally it's left in the refrigerator overnight or for like 12 hours. The cherries are going to release all of their juices and then the next day we would cook it down. I've made this by leaving it on the countertop for three, four hours and there's still lots of cherry flavor in there. But if you do have the time, let it sit in your refrigerator overnight and it's going to taste fantastic afterwards. We're going to let it sit and then we're going to move on to the next step. So once you're ready to boil the cherries, go ahead and put them on the stove and bring them to a boil over high heat. Then reduce the heat to a medium, like so that way there's a constant Boiling, boiling action going on, but it's not overflowing. It's not what you want, that's definitely for sure. So as it's boiling, a light froth is going to um, rise to the top. You can go ahead and just skim that off every now and then. Get rid of as much as you can, and you're going to let this boil for 25 minutes. At that point, it should be ready. But if you want it to, if you want the syrup to be a little bit thicker, um, I just leave it on as a little bit of a thinner consistency. It's not going to be so thick like the ones that you get at the grocery store. But if you do want it thicker, you can just take out the cherries, strain the cherries, and put them in a bowl and let the syrup boil for another five or ten minutes so it can thicken up. Then go ahead and put the cherries back in. Stir in a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Take it off of the heat and let them sit at room temperature until the whole thing cools completely. Then you could go ahead and transfer it into little jars or a storage container. Then you just put it in the refrigerator and, and it will keep fresh in the refrigerator for a very long time. I like to serve this over yogurt, ice cream. You might have some syrup left over like I do. I'll just put that in a separate jar and keep it in the fridge and you could stir it into iced tea or any cold drink, milkshakes, things like that. It just tastes so delicious. Time for the taste test. Hmm. Hands down my favorite preserves of all time. They're sweet, loaded with that cherry flavor. So concentrated, so delicious. The cherry just melt in your mouth. Amazing. I love to put this over vanilla ice cream too. In Greece, they use tart cherries for this, but regular sweet cherries are in season, so that's what I use. You can also use frozen cherries if you want. You are going to have more liquid, so you will have to cook down the syrup a little bit more at the end to get it nice and thick. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. The exact measurements and a printable recipe is on the website, DimitrisDishes.com. If you want to learn how to make more delicious desserts, click over here, and I will see you right over there. Yes, us.